Welcome to today's lecture on urinary tract infections, UTIs. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into the various aspects of UTIs, including their introduction and overview, urinary tract anatomy and physiology implications, pathogenesis, microbiology, complications, pediatric patients, catheter-associated infections, geriatric considerations, imaging studies, non-antibiotic approaches, and UTIs in transplant recipients. Let's begin our exploration by understanding the basics of UTIs and their impact on the urinary system. UTIs are caused by bacteria invading the urinary system. They can affect the bladder, cystitis, or the kidneys, pyelonephritis. Women are more prone to UTIs due to their shorter urethra. Symptoms include painful urination, frequent urination, and cloudy or foul-smelling urine. Prompt diagnosis and treatment are important. Understanding the urinary tract structure and functions is essential for understanding UTIs. Components include kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. Protective mechanisms like urine flushing, prevention of reflux, and antimicrobial properties can be disrupted, increasing the risk of UTIs. In UTI pathogenesis, bacteria like Escherichia coli adhere to urothelium through adhesins and host receptor interactions. This triggers invasion and colonization, causing inflammation and the release of cytokines slash chemokines. Understanding this process helps in developing effective treatments and prevention strategies for recurrent UTIs. The most common cause of urinary tract infections, UTIs, is Escherichia coli, accounting for around 80% of cases. Other bacteria can also cause UTIs. It is important to choose the right antibiotics based on local resistance patterns and patient characteristics. It is crucial to perform a urine culture and sensitivity test to identify the bacteria causing the infection and to determine the appropriate antibiotic treatment. The increase in antimicrobial resistance is a major concern, so it is important to use antibiotics wisely and explore alternative treatment options. If left untreated or inadequately managed, a lower UTI may progress to involve the upper urinary tract, leading to pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis is characterized by inflammation of the renal parenchyma and pelvis, causing severe symptoms such as fever, flank pain, and systemic manifestations of infection. Delayed or inadequate treatment can result in abscess formation within the kidney, further complicating the clinical course. Prompt recognition, appropriate antibiotic therapy, and supportive management are vital in preventing adverse outcomes and potential renal damage associated with these complications. Recurrent urinary tract infections, UTIs, are a challenge for patients and healthcare providers. Risk factors include female gender, sexual activity, anatomical abnormalities, urinary tract obstruction, and comorbid conditions like diabetes. A thorough evaluation is important to develop effective strategies for prevention. Complicated UTIs, which occur in individuals with urinary tract abnormalities, require individualized management to prevent complications. UTIs are common among children, with different age groups presenting unique challenges in diagnosis and management. Young infants and children often have nonspecific symptoms, such as fever and irritability, making the diagnosis challenging. The presence of pyelonephritis in children necessitates appropriate imaging studies, such as renal ultrasound and voiding cystourethography VCUG, to detect underlying abnormalities that may require intervention. Treatment of UTIs in pediatric patients incorporates antibiotic therapy, supportive care, and prevention strategies to reduce the risk of recurrent infections, renal scarring, and long-term complications. Catheter-associated urinary tract infections CAUTIs, pose a significant healthcare-associated infection burden, particularly in hospitalized patients and those with long-term indwelling catheters. The presence of urinary catheters provides a foreign body surface for bacterial colonization and allows retrograde ascent into the urinary tract. Risk factors for CAUTIs include prolonged catheterizations, improper insertion, poor hygiene, and the absence of aseptic techniques during catheter maintenance. Implementing strict infection prevention measures, emphasizing catheter necessity, and employing appropriate catheter maintenance protocols are crucial in reducing the incidence of cauties. Urinary tract infections, UTIs, are common among older adults and can present with atypical symptoms, making their diagnosis challenging. Factors contributing to UTIs in older adults include underlying comorbid conditions, age-related anatomical and physiological changes, and polypharmacy. UTIs in this population can be associated with significant morbidity and mortality if not promptly recognized and treated. Comprehensive geriatric assessments, addressing predisposing factors, and implementing preventive strategies are essential to optimize the management of UTIs in older adults. Imaging studies are important in diagnosing and managing urinary tract infections. 
renal ultrasound is commonly used to assess kidney abnormalities, while CT, MRI, and nuclear medicine studies provide detailed information for complicated cases. Choosing the right imaging modality depends on the clinical context and patient's condition, not antibiotic approaches in UTI management, such as cranberry products, probiotics, immunomodulators, and topical estrogen therapy, have gained attention due to antimicrobial resistance. These approaches aim to prevent UTI development, restore healthy microbiota, enhance immunity, and reduce recurrent UTIs in postmenopausal women. Further research is required for efficacy and safety. Transplant recipients are at an increased risk of developing urinary tract infections, UTIs, due to immunosuppressive therapy and underlying comorbidities. UTIs in this population can be caused by both common uropathogens and opportunistic pathogens. Prompt detection and early treatment are crucial to prevent complications and graft dysfunction. Strategies to minimize the risk of UTIs in transplant recipients include perioperative antibiotic prophylaxis, close surveillance, immunization, and careful monitoring of immunosuppressive medications. Awareness of the unique considerations in this population is essential for optimizing patient outcomes and preserving graft function. In conclusion, urinary tract infections, UTIs, are common and can have serious consequences. Understanding various aspects such as anatomy, physiology, complications, and prevention is crucial for managing UTIs effectively. Together, we can improve patient outcomes and combat antimicrobial resistance. Thank you for watching.